Good evening, this is Ken Wai, your science guy, and I will be performing a very special uh, segment for you on cloning, and here to help me is my, uh, well, is, what's your name again? Uh, oh, yeah, that's Ken. right. Oh, now, where's your jacket? Uh, oh, we only had one yeah, in the bag. I, that's true. Sorry. Well, Sorry anyway, just, I guess you could just stand there for now. Uh, sure. We'll be discussing cloning right now. Now, cloning is where you create an identical copy of something. This could be either uh, the DNA of something's uh, individual cells or even whole organisms. Wait a minute, but that's, know. that's a whole yeah, multiple, that's multitude of uh, cells. Pretty amazing yeah. what they might be able to do with science someday. Yeah. Now, uh, DNA, they have four different steps of actually uh, performing this, ha having to do with fragmentation, litigation, transvections, screenings, and selection. These, uh, this DNA is very helpful if they need to reproduce certain proteins or even antibiotics, something sure. like that. And uh, next, uh, some certain cells such as yeast might even be as simple as inoculation. Wait a minute, Ken. What is inoculation? Uh, very good, very good question. Inoculation is pretty much uh, an introduction of a foreign mutative agent of some kind mm. and simply by uh, uh, administering In the solution injecting. to the cell yeah. um, sort of makes it spontaneously split what? and become two copies. Huh, two copies. I know. Yes. Very, very cool. Yeah. And now plants nowadays uh, have been using this cloning technology. Uh, this is known as vegetative reproduction where they make copies of certain plants without the regular having to seed it and uh, culture it. Uh, grapes or potatoes have lasted for over two millennia. Certain European wow. cultivators have That's been utilizing this. Or if possibly you need to relocate a certain rare uh, plant, such as the box huckleberry. Now, Ken, yes? did you know that the box huckleberry has been around since, I don't know, even the ice ages they've dated it back? Oh, man, that's, well, that's old. How this happens is it spontaneously clones itself, uh, being able to uh, shoot down feeders through the ground and just sort of uh, reproduce itself uh, as just one single bush that's Seriously. existed for millions and millions of years. Man, that, that's incredible. Yeah, it's okay. very cool. You might want to check it out if you have some time. Also, time. Uh, Dolly the lamb, or sheep now, mm -hmm. uh, 1996 was the first whole mammal to be cloned from an adult cell. Uh, th there's the little baby Dolly and there's the adult Dolly. Yep, I remember reading about that. And uh, here, some people might love their pets so much that they decide to clone them. Uh, this cat was affectionately named Copycat, uh, uh, born in 2001, and I here she it. is with her owner. And also, as you might know, might or might not know, mules cannot reproduce on their own. Mm -hmm. They're a mixture between donkeys and horses, but this mule was cloned uh, in 2003. Idaho Gem was his name, and uh, in this way, they're able to create a mule without having to mix a horse and a donkey. Now, this could be beneficial because mules can often carry more weight or have more stamina than your regular horses or donkeys. Horses are some of my favorite animals, Ken. Yep, I, I like horses too. Now, uh, s well, thank you, first of all, Ken, for your help in uh, presenting. Oh, oh, no problem. It's been you. an honor, you look Ken. pretty good too. And, uh, well, now, well, yeah, see ya. Now we'll just see what's next.